Hello, I'm Kajan Tapu, your psychology professor, and today we're going to talk about language. Language is the ability to communicate using words from a spoken language. A spoken language is a set of words and grammatical rules used for communication. Language controls motivation and emotion, shapes images and concepts, and directs of our behavior. Communication is a transmission of messages from one transmitter to a receiver. Messages are encoded in a language and are transmitted on a communication channel. The main forms of language are internal language, talking to yourself, and external language, verbal communication with others, which can be oral and written. Speaking uses abbreviated formulas and is, it is less pretentious. Writing and reading are learned in school and have stricter rules. The main functions of language are communication function, which is the transmission of information from one individual to another, cognitive function, without language we cannot know the world because we can name objects, control function, through language we, con we control ourselves and what we do, we say I have to do that, and we can control or influence others through commands, orders, suggestions, etc. The play function, which is expressed through humor, word games, rhymes, etc. Affective function, Transmission of emotional states, inducing emotions in others, but also discharge of emotion. Let's see what are the characteristics of teacher's language. Teachers must speak loud enough and face the students. They have to speak slowly enough so as the students may write down the key ideas. They must have a proper intonation by stressing the important words. Words. They have to write the main ideas on the writing board or slides while talking, making classifications, diagrams, and so on. Appropriate technical items must be used, which can be slides, video projectors, flip charts, and computers. Language disorders are aphasia, an inability to comprehend and or formulate language because of damage to specific areas of the brain. Articulation disorders, which affect the production of sounds or the pronunciation. Stuttering is a disruption in the fluency of an individual speech which begins in childhood and may persist over a lifetime if untreated. Voice disorders range from aphonia, loss of phonation, or, or voice, the loss of voice, to dysphonia, which include phonatory and or resonance disorders. Phonatory disorders include, includes breathiness, hoarseness, harshness, resonance disorders, refer to overuse or underuse of the resonance chambers resulting, resulting in hypernasality, or hyponacility. Thank you and see you next time to the next lecture of psychology.